Uh, sorry, it'll be shrunk. I apologize. There's really much I can do about it. I set the resolution right, but anyway, uh, let me I'm gonna spice this up a little bit. To entertain myself, since nobody's in here but me anyway. I'm just talking to myself. And I probably won't put this on YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, I did in fact put this on YouTube. Just a second, chill out, relax. Here we go. Yeah. Watching Jeffrey Joffrey get slapped over and over again, that's always fun to watch. There we go. Maybe that's not too distracting. Oh, I forgot my drink. One second. Hopefully I catch a second wind at some point so I can kind of wake up. Alright. Let me guess it says Thomas was alone. Hey, what do you know? Well, a weird first thought to have. Thomas decided to start listing his observations for posterity. One, the whole alone thing. Two, portals. They led somewhere, and he'd yet to work out where. Three, falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. He was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Okay. Interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. Oh. It... A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here, it was pushing him, but gently. Aced it. Nailed it. This all seemed a little dangerous. The world was not to be trusted. It was unstable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. Yeah, also the control has been like a back. So back a bit. It might even be doing so on purpose. wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. 
he seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right, which might or might not be important. It might have been paranoia again, but Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No, too obvious. Has to respawn Something points to see about the boy progress. The toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. He didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Oh yeah. He made another mental note. Four, water, not good, to be avoided. Oh, okay. That's the respawn point, I guess. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. It's uh, interesting so far, I guess. I mean, most games start off a bit slow, so... Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. He was evolving. He just wished he had someone to share. Seems like a more of a mental cry for help so far than a game. I'm so lonely, so I made this game. I have no idea. Submitted hundreds of bug reports. I told the idiot this would happen. Overlapping scripts, more than one AI was bound to be spawned into an environment at some point. Turns out I missed the point. That little error changed everything. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? Uh, can you uh, scroll characters? Oh, okay. I do, in fact, look very out of it. Okay. So I guess Thomas is not alone, in fact. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but... Sorry. He would even been graceful at times. Well, not actually. Not technically graceful. Probably, probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Oh, I thought I was going to go back in. Yep, I still got what seven and a half hours, I think. Sounds about right. Have you played this? The Lock of Par? Okay, this was more like it. A glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it, which of course made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? Grace, Grace. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. How fortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. Uh. Oh, okay, I can't 
jump when I'm on it. Hello, Solan. Solan, damn it. Good? Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Well, sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. Uh, where am I going? Probably should explore with Thomas, since he can actually jump, jump, how oh, high, real high. So that is wiggity 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 wack. Well, it's not streaming necessarily that's taking it out of me. It's streaming it for 24 hours. Okay, so you probably need to go first then. I used to stream a lot more, but I wanted to focus more on getting the channel up. Streaming does get a little uh, much after a while. Especially little things, like if you stream for a long time, which I tended to do, it was hard to take breaks for like food. If you did, like, I always feel pressure, like, oh, I've got to eat really quick. Nobody want to wait around for me. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. Friends together, a brave fellowship of quadrilaterals on a quest for greatness. But seriously, that would be fine. I love ginger ale. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. He hoped the next portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm taking you with me! Oh, we're gonna die together! I mean, it's okay so far. Um, it's definitely the type of game that game that quite frankly like the indie loving crowd like masturbates to because it's like oh like it's got this very witty dialogue and it's so deep oh my god it's amazing but I'm not really into that kind of thing like I just want a fun game Fun or intriguing, like, I wouldn't call, like, Walking Dead fun, per se. Uh, which is not, like I say, I wouldn't say it's an insult. Like, I also wouldn't say Schindler's List was a fun movie to watch. Uh, but it's, you know, good. Right? That makes sense? I know it does. Like, Twelve Angry Men. I love Twelve Angry Men. I mean, the movie. Not some kind of weird sexual thing. But I'm not judging you if you do like Trail Angry Man. But that movie is not fun, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully it's not makes sense. Anyway, but yeah, I don't really get into like the whole like, oh, it's like, it's an experience. It's like an interactive story, which I guess Fallout was. I mean, not Fallout, but Walking Dead was. John knew. He knew that this was his chance, a moment to shine. This was game day. Oh. Oh, son, you got a hell of a leap. Oh, I can't get up, guys. This 
would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he was trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. <laughs> little dot things. Where did they come from, anyway? Blimey! Well, Bastion, I haven't played Bastion long. Wait, I always get Bastion and the other one mixed up. One of them I like, the other one I, I did not braid. Like, I played the first chapter of Braid and I did not like it at all. But Bastion I played about an hour of and I liked it. I, I just haven't finished it. But the game was fun, though. Like, I want the... Generally, I want the game to be fun or have a good story. Like, the whole, like, oh, but it's John the experience. the air of the open space and it smelled of awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. You're the worst. To be honest, the music is kind of grating after a while. Like the bleep 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 bleep. Oops, shit. I don't think you can make that jump. Let me see what's over here. Oh. I'll just switch to you and see what's over here. Here, there's a switch. Yeah. John. Yeah, I know. Press the switch to let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new allies. You could tell from the sympathetic expression he practiced in the mirror all these years. Yeah, I. One of the reasons I never did Bastion was because I actually had an idea for an LP that I wanted to do. Uh, but it would be it would be pretty arduous to do. Well, how arduous, arduous. My tongue doesn't work today. Sorry, man. But let's do you first. But, uh, yeah, so I, but I don't think I'm ever going to do it, so I need to just play it. I don't know, but then there's, like, other games that I think are really good. But they're not... I want to say pretentious, but I don't think pretentious is the right word for this game. Like, it sorta is, but not, like, not badly. But like, uh, the Swapper? I really like the Swapper, but like, nobody talked about the Swapper. But I was like, come on, this game is cool. Like, graphically it looks really damn good. Uh, the environment was really good. The puzzles were a lot of fun. And I really liked that game, but like, you hardly ever hear anybody talk about it. Shizen. Wait a minute. Can I get back over? Wait, what if I need to, uh, reset? Oh, wait. Can I reset? Oh, oh, I see, I think. Yep, yeah, alright. Oh, I see, yeah. I was wondering why there was this hole in the middle. If you know what I mean. But, I think you know what I mean, sort of. Not Pretentious is definitely not the right word. But, like, have, you, have either one of you played the Swapper? Shizen. Shizen, why am I swearing in Brit German? I'm getting old. That's the problem. That's the damn problem. Wait, can you just make that? John was happy to keep helping. He felt it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. You guys should, um, you should watch my Let's Try of it. 
and see if you like it. I think it's like, let me put it this way. Like on most of my Let's Tries, I very rarely ever actually finish the game. I usually like move on to something else. Not that I don't like the games that I try, it's just my time is somewhat limited. In a nerd, and like in this, it's limited. Oh, whoops. I gotta stop running ahead. Anyway, um, but I actually went back and finished that game, which is rare for me to do. Then again, it was it was like in space, and I kind of like the whole space vibe. Yeah, it's, it's a puzzle game where you, um, oh, whoops, I thought this was the right block. It's a puzzle game where, like, you make, uh, copies of yourself, and the copies do everything that you do, like, jump, move to the left, move to the left, or move to the right, and you have to use that to, to solve the puzzles. It's pretty cool. duo seriously though like the the bleep 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 is is kind of getting irritating like it's a bit much <laughs> Everything's funny now. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. That was probably a bit overkill, but... I've always had a great sense of humor. I think. Somewhat perverted and twisted in ways. So I heard... angry orange one was... Less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. I'm like, this this is getting a bit tedious now. Like Alright, like I get the idea of of using the blocks to jump the blocks. But like this this feels like this has been going on for like five minutes too long. I'm not definitely not on Raven Valor hate yet. Why is that asshole not watching my stream, by the way? Somebody call him an asshole on, uh, on Twitter. Trust, I would if I totally could. Actually, hey, uh, I heard something. He said something today. Pretty serious. Does anybody know, like, was he referencing something or was, like, he serious? Yeah, I just remember that. Like, so is he serious or like I couldn't tell. Let's be honest, everybody's that. Yeah, 
Yeah, was like, was that legit Solon? Because I couldn't tell, like, if he was referencing, like, a TV show or a movie or something. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. I don't know exactly what it was, but it seemed like he said something afterwards that I wasn't, that maybe not, like... Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Not much. This was how Claire would die. She knew it would happen eventually. She was rubbish at jumping, and she moved slowly. Yeah. She felt a little like her continued existence was breaking some kind of natural order. The crumbling pillar was a dramatic death, she supposed. Hey. What? Hey. Claire couldn't shake the feeling that she was not, in fact, dead. It was at that moment that Claire realized she had superpowers. Uh, well, I'll be awake till about 11. She'd need a cape. There was no getting around that. You couldn't be a superhero without a cape. Claire didn't want confusion. I turned the heater up because my hands on the heater getting cold. If you saw a cape, that made matters clear. You knew what you were dealing with. Claire was all about communication. And, you know, floating in water. Which was her superpower. Huh? No, caffeine doesn't do anything for me. Uh, I get those five hour energy cells, they help sometimes. Well, good night if you're going to bed. Huh? Yeah. I can't think about it though. I got seven hours left. Uh, thanks. I'll make it. I'll probably hit a second win in like two or three hours. Bye. Or at night. Yeah, that would be pretty weird. There's no one actually here. Dun, dun, dun. Well, that really sucks, uh, about, um, Raven. I hate to hear that. Actually, I'm the opposite. Generally, at night, I feel my most awake. I feel most on the ball, like... At late at night. Right. But fear not, my skinny friends, for I am Claire, and I will save you. Claire needed to come up with a superhero name as soon as possible. Claire was rubbish. So like Oh, damn it. I was looking at chat. <laughs> uh, well, for me, the time's already changed. I think I can't be sure anymore. Oh, she can jump while they while she's got them on them. That's interesting. The other ones can't do that. Claire arrived just in time. 
moment was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Because <laughs> you drown him anyway. No, you idiot. No, oh, I'm like trying to go in there. I'm like, why can I not go in there? Claire arrived just in Oops. time. <laughs> was My pushing. bad. Thought I had uh, Claire arrived just in time, which was, of course, the perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Damn it. I can't <laughs> jump while she's jumping. All right, later. So Solon, Salon, Solon. <laughs> you really do suck at jumping, Claire. Water began to rise. Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sight. Damn it. Claire arrived oh, damn it. just in time. It was, of course, the perfect moment <sighs> for superheroes to arrive. I want to get that thing, but I don't want to die and wait on this crap to rise. again. Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. Whoa, hey. Claire wondered if Thomas would make a good sight. Oh. Like, as soon as the water hits... Like just the bottom time. of your square, it like was, you can't course, really jump anymore. Perfect moment for superheroes to arrive. Are you back? As the water began to rise. Claire vowed to save this little rectangle in as many restarts as it took. I actually, like, what's funny is, like, I really want to watch other people's streams. Like, I wish there was a way I could participate while also just watching other people's streams. Like, I actually, Capa uh, Capanius, a uh, friend of mine I used to work with. The sole hero in a world of rectangles and conveniently placed pools of toxic water. Damn it, jump up there. Um, but yeah, he's playing like old arcade games, like beat em ups, like a ton of them, like on an arcade setup. I'm like, oh, that sounds fun. And I was watching him earlier and I was like, oh man, I want to watch this now. Wait, what are you planning on doing? I've got, I'm confused. The others told Claire that staircases were a bit of a fixture here. Claire wondered why the world made it so difficult. Yeah, I've been I've done extra life the last This is the third year, I guess. Yeah, this is the third year I've done extra life. And uh I actually went I don't know if you were here for the beginning of the stream, I don't remember because I don't remember anything anymore. But um
But we actually went, me and Travis Capanius actually went to one of the hospitals. Probably needed a nemesis. A villain who would show their true colors at the worst possible moment, hurting all she held dear. Chris was the most obvious choice. <laughs> he seemed stroppy enough. His jump was so pathetic that it conveniently avoided Claire's insecurities. Yes, Chris. Diabolical Chris. The fiendish Christopher. Oh, okay. Oh, no. It kind of works. That's weird. Looks like we may have under overthought that one slightly. Good morning. I can't see your name though, because it's bright green, but it's hello from Germany. Well, no, wait, I'm in America. God. <sighs> Jesus. I'm not too old for this shit. this game like a boss hey. uh yes where's chris gone was he off somewhere plotting claire's downfall if claire was honest and she had to be because she was a superhero this was a troubling turn of events Still, there were reasonably sized bodies of water to cross. I'm gonna guess we need to bring them with us. Yeah, it's just about 4 a.m. Well, on the east coast it is, yeah. We've got to turn this like music volume down. Holy shit. It's getting really irritating. I gotta say, like, moving the blocks around can definitely be monotonous. Like it's, ah, oh God, I can't move this jumping over. So I have to move him over just a little bit, then switch blocks, and then jump, and then switch, and then it's like, ah, oh, for God's sakes. But yes, it is morning. Oh, looks like I got exactly seven hours ago, right? So eight nine twenty, yeah. What's funny is like at least once when I did this Oh whoops, don't get too far ahead. At least once when I did this I started to get tired around, you know, definitely around hour and twenty and whatnot. But then once I got to like the end I was like not tired. Like I actually ended up staying up for like another two to three hours. It's kind of amusing. Sorry about the sniffling. 
goddamn nose. Moving platforms over water, eh? Claire's newly heightened senses told her that there were multiple paths across with various possible configurations of the little posse. I gotta say, like, and I've said this before, and I'm probably more apt to say negative things when I'm tired, but, like, I mean, I definitely like indie games, but, like, the whole, like, circle jerk of games that are, like, meh, like, okay, but they're different, so people are like, oh, this game is so amazing, it is, it is very old. Not saying that this is true for this game, just saying in general. Like, God, what was that game? Little Inferno? Ugh. They were doing really well. Claire hoped she could get them all across. John was fully aware he could do this alone. Thomas hoped he'd never have to. But maybe that's just me. It's not just me, though. I will say one thing uh, about this is like it does a good job of making you Claire feel smart alone, when you're really not. Which was odd because she wasn't meant to be alone. She needed to be where there were rectangles to save. Jump in the spikes, Claire. Being the only superhero in a given space kind of defeats the object. <laughs> spikes? That was new. Claire avoided them. She decided they were most likely her kryptonite. Not the rubbish red kryptonite either, the proper radioactive green stuff. Almost. How long is this game? Like, uh, on how long to beat, how long does it say it takes to beat this? If somebody who isn't doing anything might check. I'm just curious. Damn. Almost got it without getting spiked. How does how long to beat.com get its information anyway? Like I'm assuming ah, damn it. I'm so used to like other kind of jumping games where it's hard to describe where like if you want to jump before the last little bit is off the edge but since you're squares it's different it's interesting is anybody actually still listening you went to Solon's stream, didn't you? Traitor. Wow. Deja vu. Kill Thomas. The yeah. world was repeating. And this time Thomas was here. Claire felt something had gone wrong. There was a disturbance in the force. Something had altered the matrix. The world was reacting to their progress. It was amassing its forces. It was plotting against them. Claire finally had a nemesis. Um, no, I, I played a lot earlier today. On New Game Plus, I got to Four Kings, and like I just couldn't like concentrate. Like my brain just would not focus, and that doesn't really work very well in Dark Souls. So to avoid further frustration, I moved to other games. I'd 
I played it quite a while though. Um, my page should be linked below, but 145. I'm doing actually worse than last year. I didn't do a very good job this year of pushing it because I kept thinking, oh, I've got time, I've got time, I've got time. And then it was like, oh, wait, <laughs> it's too late. Laura was pleased this one was behind a wall. Maybe he'd never know what she could do. Maybe, maybe they could just have a conversation. Hang out. As long as he didn't find out what she could do. Which would never happen so long as they stayed separate. I'm hoping as the channel gets larger, I can Laura get more people to come in. to worry about the ominous pixel cloud. It had been following her for some time, and it had kept itself to itself until now. More important was the little orange thing, which was looking at her in a way that she kind of, well, liked. I guess, yep. Bounce. Them see them boxes bounce. As the square, who had shyly introduced himself as Chris, bounced atop Laura, she began to worry that he was just using her like all the others had. They'd all bounced too, and then they disappeared when her back was turned. Only the ominous pixel cloud ever remained, looking a little bigger and a little less hungry with every disappearing friend. With every bounce, Laura found herself less and less irritated by Chris. She started to miss him when he wasn't there, on another platform or something. Hmm, now you can't jump, that's weird. <laughs> oh, I see. If it's kind of like... Oh, she, oh it's because she's on a ledge, right? Wait, what? How did that... Whatever. Not quite sure how that worked, but... saying very much. Oops. <laughs> 
God damn it. Wait. It looks more like a bug than a, like what it's supposed to do. Oh, almost. Ugh. Damn. in love. She was perfect. He had to tell her so. At some point, he would definitely tell her. Probably best to wait for a moment the large, ominous pixel cloud wasn't about, though. Yeah, probably best to wait. Oops. Yep, because that's going to happen. Oh, she can just run across. Oh, right. It'd be easier. Well, actually, I don't know how that would work. <laughs> I don't think that'll work how I want it to work. Nope, it won't. I like Witcher 2 much better uh, than 1, without question, which I guess that's not saying a whole lot, but, um... Chris was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. Uh, was that supposed to stop like that? But, uh, yeah, Witcher 2 is fun. I like it. It is uh, quite enjoyable so far. Was it too early to refer to Laura as his girlfriend? Only if I say it out loud, he told himself. He didn't want to scare her off. You're the most useful one. Scout ahead. I don't know if you can make I don't think you make that last jump. Alright. See you in a bit, Parlock. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn.
can't get back up there. Um, so do I have to restart the level now, or...? I guess. Damn it, because I was blowing through this one nice. I just accidentally slipped this guy off. Is there no way? Can she scoot to the side? No, damn it. That's not getting anywhere near high enough. That sucks. Can I? Ugh. Well, that blows. Ugh. Chris was massively disappointed to run into the gang again. He'd enjoyed the alone time with his new girlfriend. Oh, it just sounds like he gets cut off there. I bet he said it all in one take. Was it too early to refer to Laura as his girlfriend? Only if I say it out loud, he told himself. He didn't want to scare her off. keep taking these off on accident because I keep selecting the wrong damn ones. A little overshot. A smidgen. seemed suspicious of Laura and the eager looking pixel cloud of death which seemed to be watching her. Sure they'd use her inherent bounciness to reach slightly higher jump points but they wouldn't strike up a conversation with her. Chris found them rude. Rude and always there. Parlock sucks, by the way. Gonna see what Solon's doing. Jerk. Her jump sucks. Pretty badly. 